Hey guys, welcome back to some more Vitamin Y. So today is Thursday, and that means we are using Cosmic U Bell. So, uh, this deck's been doing pretty pretty chill lately. It hasn't been it's not it's not the best U Bell deck in Vitamin Y wouldn't say. It's, it's it's a little slow. You know, it kinda relies on my opponent to do something like you know, last video where it was you know, it was Gustos versus this deck and then do us a millennium because no one wanted to commit to anything. But uh overall not too terrible. Uh, I mean, drawing terror is terrible, but uh, besides that, you know, it's fine, I guess. You know, terror and debris dragon. Like I said, you guys shouldn't be surpri surprised at this point. At this point, you guys should be used to it. You know what? You guys, before you before you even watch the video, you know, guess which former you bell I'm gonna draw. It's, that's, we should do a game. We should do a game of this. This card's not something you can summon one of them. Okay. Oh wait, 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 wait. On attack declaration. Effects. So you, I gotta summon someone with in defense. So I will go ahead and summon. Uh, yeah, I'll summon you out too, and then you, I'll go ahead and summon you. No back row. Cool. Cool. Don't mind me. I'll just go ahead and go sync, uh, was that six? I can only sync or summon, right? Yeah, I can only sync or summon, which is totally fine. Yeah, sync six. Go straight into that juicy ass Goyo Guardian. I never realized how good Yazi is, but he is really good. Like, really fucking good. Wow, and he just quits. As soon as I go for the fucking Goyo Guardian, he just quits. Like, I thought you were testing something. What? Whatever you're testing, you can't get over a Goyo Guardian? Like, huh, okay. You know, I knock on back row, but, you know, you know playing back row is your thing. You need to play it, you know? Sometimes you can have situations that, you know, only back row can get you out of, so. Sometimes you just gotta run it. So, you know, I personally not a big fan of back row. I'm also not a big personal fan of drawing terror every single fucking duel, but you know that happens. So soul charge and terror. So breeze terror, soul charge terror. You, you, you're starting to see a pattern here. My hand is complete ass. Uh, I don't like spell books. Hand is. Thank God I drew freaking Chi Wen. I, I didn't draw Chi Wen. This hand would still be complete ass. I'd be getting my ass beat by a fucking defender. It's been a long time since I've got my ass beat by a fucking defender because no one plays defender anymore, but. Yeah. So, Spellbooks with Star Hall. Hmm, interesting. Who the fuck is this? Okay. Okay. You can have that, Danny, what I'm mad at. You wanna kill me? Sure. Let me get my effect. I'm gonna summon Sua. Then I'm gonna activate Spring, summon back Chi Wen. And. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I could go for Yazi, but eh, I don't want to go for Yazi. Yeah, Yazi's not the one I want to go into. Sync five. You know exactly who I'm gonna go into. Armadies. To affect arm twenty eight hundred. Oh, and this is gone. Because the monster was removed from the field. I like that card. I can't wait for this card. I as soon as this card, I really hope it's not a high rarity. I hope it's not gonna be too expensive because I love this card. Like I love it in you bell. I love it for my Telenites, my my fun Telenite deck. You know, it's another call of the haunted. You know? I don't give a shit if my shit turns to a worm. So of course you can't remove your counter to block yourself. So you just die. No. Mm -mm. No effects. 
Your opponent cannot activate card effects. Card effects. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. You don't activate. That's right. You don't activate. I could have sworn he could have just killed things, but no, it's okay. I said never mind because you don't activate. You just remove the counter. It's kind of like Zen Main Zero One Hundred One. They don't activate. They're just like, oh, just you dodge like. One one? Sure. You can have that that ain't what I'm mad at. Sure. Nope. You take three hundred. You wanna kill me? Sure. Get my effect on. Hmm. Oh, well, that's, a, that's easy. I know exactly what I want. I want GL2. The reason I want GL2 is because I have Soul Charge. So, Soul Charge you two back and make a. Uh. Uh. Fuck. You should do that. This card is good, but you should do it during my, uh, my end phase so you can see the top. Because right now, you know, the way you organize it may not be the right play you want to do, depending on the play I do. You know, so. Which, of course, you cannot predict. So. Because I bet you're not going to see this coming at all. So. Awesome, and you too. I'll pay the 2000 I'll go ahead and sink 8. Go right into Vaxia. Effect. One, two, three. I'm 2800 and I'm unaffected by trap cards. Back to deck. See? I know you're gonna quit and be like, no, 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 not shuffle my shit back. I just use my public organization to get my shit set up. And da, 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 da. No. You should have bluffed the shit out of it by setting it. Then I probably would have spun it back, and then you could have chained it. Oh, but then it wouldn't have mattered anyway. So you were just salty about your shit getting shuffled back to that. He, he wanted to send it to the grave so bad. He's like, oh, I'm going to draw right into that BLS. No, don't shuffle my deck. Not my deck. <laughs> He's like, no, hold my deck. Ugh, that's kind of shitty. That's a play I usually wouldn't do, but I'm going to go ahead and do it just because I want to, to activate the creation. I need I need the creation to start start my engine. <laughs> oh, i got to start my engine, I swear to God. Fucking Kamen Rider Drive, the new Kamen Rider, it's a card base, and there's so many fucking card puns, it's ridiculous. That's one of them. Like, oh, start your engine. Like, oh, my engine is stalled. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, if he does well in the fight, he's like, oh, nice drive. Like, what the fuck? Like, stop with all the Kamen Rider puns. Oh, I love Kamen Rider. Sure. Hobaning. I don't mind getting more life points. Hey, at least I didn't draw you bell in this hand. So. You know what the funny thing is? I don't draw you bell, but this hand is still just as shitty. <laughs> Actually, you know what, I was about to say, oh, I didn't draw a card at one, like, oh, wait, never mind, I run Dark Refer at one. <laughs> I run at one, just in case I draw you bell and keep track of the shit, but this time, <laughs> I don't have any darks. Ah, oh, it's hilarious. Call the Haunted, alright. I'm like, why the hell did you set Dark Refer? Like, because. <laughs> why did I say Dark Refer? Fingers chain. That's fine. That is fine. Uh, then I'm going to... Uh, it's kind of... Blah, 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 That's fine. I'm gonna summon you. Oh, really, you too? So the Fiendish Chain is equipped. You should, you should have waited with that Fiendish Chain. I don't know why you fucking jumped on that Fiendish Chain so goddamn fast, but... Why did I do that? Oh, so I can have a nice 23 beater. 
But say, I can't even use mass, my, another mass county. I don't have, uh, what's his face in the graveyard yet? Suwani. Yeah, Suwani. Nope. It is stuck on the floor. It's just stuck. It's, per it's a perpetual state of just being on the field. Okay, I'm for a limbs attack. Yep, or flipped. I'm gonna get fucked up by Medo Chase. <laughs> Especially with this opening hand. Search and Jelly. It's been a cool minute since I've dueled against Medo Chase. You know, of course I duel with Medo Chase on the other duels, but against? It's been a cool minute. Because it's not a relevant deck anymore. You know, back when it was like the tits. Uh. All right, then he has the Angeli in his hand, so I'm gonna get turn Masood. All right, you can shuffle her back into your deck now. Ah, oh, damn, this sucks. I'm totally not ready to go against Tiramisu. Not even close. I am not ready. I'm gonna set this too. Just to scare the shit out of my opponent, even though it's a fucking bluff like hella. So go kitty cat and jelly. Kitty cat and jelly, let's go. Sucks. Kitty cat. Mm hmm. I mean, jelly, now this is where I would like some back row. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, you might have this though. Summon in Jelly, and let's get it started. And Jelly. Oh, looking in your extra deck, trying to figure out your play. If you got in Jelly, then you got the perfect play. Another kitty cat. Okay. What, are you gonna make us fucking Zen mains? Like, I don't give a shit. Zen mains. That was dumb. So that means you had a kitty cat. You must have drew into the kitty cat again. You must have drew into another one. Because there's no way in hell you would search for a kitty cat when you already have a kitty cat. You should have searched for the Angeli. That way you can go kitty cat and jelly, and then that's the combo right there. Zen mains. I don't care. You don't win Zen mains. Okay. Then who do you want? Zen mains. Okay. That's how I thought, but then you put it back. So, Sure. I don't care. This hand must be some booty. And get my effect again. Detach. You want to finish train me again? I guess it's fine. Let's go ahead and not get a fucking Yang Zing. Why am I not getting any of my Yang Zings today? Like, all I need to get started is some Yang Zings up in this bitch, and I'm not getting, like, any of them. I could take it a little slow. I don't want to take the goal slow, but I have to right now. I mean, I can't attack the Zen mains, and he can detach, and that would be fine. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to attack and make him rip up attachment, and he can pop one of my back row if he wants to. Actually, that would suck. I don't want him to pop none of my back row because I have nothing to chain. Nothing to chain. Like, if I had, like, something to chain, I hope he just kills my King of Feral Lump. Really. Really, as soon as he kills that King of Feral Lump, I'm flip this up and be like, here we go. We're getting started. Like I said, this, de this deck takes a while. Takes a little while before I can get my engine started. Mm-hmm. Now who are you getting? What, who cake? That'd be too terrible, because, you know, your detach is going to be... Nope, then jelly. All right, now it's in jelly time. Where were you before, Angeli? Yes, Chi Wen. Thank you. Sure. 
So that kind of sucks, but oh well. Then, number one was it was just gonna be a beater anyway. So, I guess. So my duel right now. This duel is going way too fucking slow. I'm, I'm, I, this is a terrible matchup, like a terrible matchup, because my deck is too slow to be going against his deck right now. <sighs> trying to figure out. I mean, you're going to Chairman Sue, you can't even use your effect because you don't even have any Midoche cards in the graveyard, so there's really no point in doing that. I mean, you can go into Chairman Sue just to go into Chairman Sue, you can't use its effect, though. I am most definitely not ripping off anything off Denzen Mings right now. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. So, whatever he summons is going to attack, I'm going to activate creation, of course. Summon. I'll summon. I'm gonna summon shit. I'm gonna summon Swanee, I'm gonna summon uh Beyond, and then I'm going to uh spring back my Chi Wen and then go into Baxia and then spin my shit back. So this might actually come down to that back row. Like I said, that back row might be something to stop me. If it is, then it sucks, but if not, then we're cool. You know, I'm not. You're not the only one who can spin back. Of course, I target you. Don't so. Yeah. Like I said that could be another Phoenix Chain, but then that could also be another Deep Prison. So. You go into Ragnar Zero. Why? Okay. <laughs> like okay. Ragnar Zero because why the fuck not? Actually, you know that's not too terrible because Suwani. That sucks. This duel, I need you to commit to some plays, man. I need you to push. Uh huh. Please tell me you have another Angelian hand. Good. Please go with the fucking play. Mm hmm. Been fucking up all duels, so finally you're fucking doing it. Ugh, I'll sit back and relax and watch this guy play with himself. Who cake, who cake, banish that. Banish the Angeli, summon Messenger Lotto, Messenger Lotto, search, play, XC into Levier, Levier, D tight, summon back the Angeli, XC into Tiramisu, bounce back. Detach the the kitty cat with your levy. What the fuck? Wow, you're so bad. You are so bad. Wow, really? That's bad. I don't even care if I win or lose this duel. I'm not going to allow you to be bad. That's just terrible. <sighs> and jelly into... Into... Uh... Hoot cake. Banish Angeli, summon Gelato, search for field spell, <sighs> XC, cat, uh, XC, what's his fucking name? Mew and Hoot Cake for Levy, detach Mew for and jelly summon XC XC gelato and and jelly for Tira 
effect, detach, and jelly, and detach, and jelly, and return, and jelly, and jelly, and mew back to hand because of filled, oh my god, spell, and spin back to of my cards. That's a classic fucking play. Everybody knows Mew and Jelly and Jelly Hoot Cake Banish Summon Messenger Auto Search XC Levier Detach the the Mew Summon the Angelly XC into Tiramisu Detach the Angelly Target Mew and Angelly Turn them back to your hand because of the field spell Spin two of my cards back. That way you have a Levier and a Tiramisu that's already spun and you got your play back because you got the Kitty Cat and the Angelly. You just recycled your play. Like come on. Come on, man. <sighs> don't hmm me. Don't hmm me. That's what you fucking do. I don't care if I win or lose this duel. It's not important. You need to, if you're going to run around and use fucking at Madoche, you got to use the fucking play correctly. You need to know that play. That play is the tits. That is Madoche's number one play, and you need to learn it, especially since I'm not playing, running any back row. Like, no, no, no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose. It's definitely I'm gonna lose. This deck is going way too slow. My deck is too slow to face you. Okay. Well, like I said, I told you to play. So go ahead and do it. That's it. If you don't want to do it, then fine, whatever. But that's the play. That's the play right there. I'm, I'm, my deck is way too slow. It's clearly too slow. Especially since you're not committing to any attacks. Too slow. Alright. And Jelly Effect. He's like, you got this. You got this, man. Any decent Medoche player would already punch me in the mouth by now. So you need to learn. Mm hmm. We'll kick a fact. Vanish your jelly. Jelly's so fucking good. Like, the synergy between these two is just fucking ridiculous. Like, they, they knew. They knew. <laughs> they knew. I actually like Madoche. That's what I'm having. And I think everybody's saying, like, well, you know, when that Glad Beast player was being bad the other day, you didn't help him. Because, like, fuck Glad Beast. <laughs> Alright? I don't like that deck. I don't give a shit about that deck. Levy. Mm hmm. Detach Mew. It has to be Mew. So you can recycle your place. Yep. Ah, no, no. Yeah, you messed up. Again, you should have activated your uh, field spell before detach. Oh my god. Detaching for uh, levy. Now, when you use your. Monsters are going to go uh, to going to go back to back instead of hand. 
you, and you also detached the wrong thing as well. Yeah, you messed up, but yeah, you messed up. Yeah, what do you want? What do you want? Yeah, you messed up. Surprise, surprise, you messed up. I told you exactly, word for word, how to do the play and you fucked up. I said, spin my two monsters back in that game. Yeah. Yeah. And you also detached the wrong monster with Tiramisu. Why you you don't need to you don't need to put Messenger Lotto back. And you especially don't need to return it back to your freaking uh to freaking uh hand. Like you never want Messenger Lotto in hand. Never in hand. Yeah, you messed up again. We should have detached tier I mean and jelly instead of gelato. Never want gelato in hand. Your play, literally, your tur your play this turn was Mewfully and and Jelly, and then you would literally get you back to your hand, Mewfully and in Jelly. Like I said, you got this. You got this. A uh, shovel, 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 shovel. Actually, you might not have this. Actually, depending on what your back row is. I'm gonna fuck you up. Oh, no. No, this asshole right here is gonna fuck me up. Of course, I have to use... I have to use Suwani. I have to. I have to use Suwani. Majotis is a fine deck to get back into the game with. Renegger used to play Madoka. I'm not sure if he still plays Yu-Gi-Oh. He, 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 he became a lot like a lot of other people. He quit Yu-Gi-Oh. And how did he quit Yu-Gi-Oh? Because he started playing LOL. You know, League of Legends. That, that, that's probably one of the only ways that people get out of Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, that is the wrong card. That is the wrong card. Oh, he shuffled back. No, no, you got this. You got this. You got this. <laughs> you got this. I'm in defeat. <laughs> I'm in defeat. There's no way I can do this. My deck's too slow. Way too slow. What's my next card? Soul Charge? Still too slow. Still too slow. Yeah, you got this. I taught you the, the magic Medoche play. Alright, so, like I said, too slow. Too slow. As you can clearly see. Yeah, he wasn't committing to the plays I need to be done. I wasn't drawing to any of the, the, uh, the Yang Zing monsters, and it just wasn't working out. I said, it's a fun deck. It's a fun vitamin Y deck. Is, is it the strongest vitamin Y deck? Definitely not. But it's a it's a cool one. I don't mind it. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and cop soak. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Vitamin Y. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow using uh, Super Vice Eval. Still, still trying to get that deck 100. Still testing out new things, various things. But I'll be making that deck real soon. I promise you guys, when I finish making the deck and I like it the way that, that it is, I will go ahead and get the cards in real life and I will do a real life deck profile of Super Icy Bell. I promise. Alright, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Lime and Wine. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys with tomorrow with Super Icy Bell. Thanks for watching.